This is Ghana in West Africa, a sub-Saharan country where economic growth is happening but not fast enough and a majority of people are farmers living a subsistence life, growing just enough to feed themselves and their families. In the West, many people think of the countryside and rural areas as idyllic beauty spots, wonderful places to live and get away from it all. In countries like Ghana, rural life for the majority represents back-breaking toil, no amenities and no prospects. People move to the cities whenever they can, as urban life has far more to offer, even to shanty towns like this one in Accra, the capital. This place is Old Fadama. So how many people live in this whole area? 30,000 population, 30,000 people. And what are most people living on? They are, they are really porters. Uh, who have migrated from northern region and other parts of the country to actually come and settle here. So they really do menial jobs like the, uh, doing uh, porter work for people. Kayayu. So we call them uh, popularly pushes. known as kayayi and truck pushers. And this is a, a pool of stagnant, dirty, stinky water. There is no, there's no yeah. drainage system. Yeah, because they don't have a drainage system which can lead to the Kole Lagoon. So everything had to actually uh, stagnate here, you know, although it is stinking, but you have to make do with this. You know. They are only living here temporarily with the hope that when there is a better place, when they have better uh, concrete accommodation, then they leave because very often their children fall sick as a result of this dirty environment. Cholera and malaria is very prevalent, you know. They are uh, very prevalent in this particular community. Hello, nice to meet you. Hi, Hi. I'm Kerry. You are Your name is? I'm Helen. I'm Helen. Helen, very nice to meet you. Helen, where, where did you come from? North. We used to, uh, we are suffering there too much. There's no food and there's no this thing. Uh, this thing. Money for us to buy something which is fine for us. So that is why we, we come here to get something small. So were you farming in the north? Yes. You will not get anything. You live here with your family? Yes. Me and my husband and my child. This is your child? Yes. Hello. Um, and what do you live on, Helen? Do you have work? What do you do to live here? Okay, I'm selling this and bread. Mm. I'm selling bread. And so how much money can you make each day with that? And it's 60000 if I sell finish. My profit is 30000 out of it. Okay. Mm. Okay, 30000 that's two, two pounds a day. And, and what's your big dream? For you and your family? I would like to, to get some work to be doing, small, small. If I get some work, I don't. I think that will be better than selling bread. May we film your house? Ah, okay. If I buy it's not fine. <laughs> <laughs> the room is not fine. The, the room is just the small. The, He's saying that these people are not really from the uh, uh, northern part of Ghana, but they are from Ashanti region. They have also come in here in search of uh, jobs. What do they hope for in coming to Accra? Okay. So they, they, they were hoping to actually get good jobs so that they can get money and take some home and, and, and remit their parents. 
Are their parents still in the rural area? I'm in New York. Him and me are broken. This guy is saying that his mom is actually dead, but this one's mom is alive. And they are all in the rural areas as of now. What jobs have they found since they come here? Mobile dia juma pa ne moya ye. Dia juma na moya. They have not found any lucrative job. Is this the home? That is where we live. How many you live in there? Seven. Seven people in this room. Can we film it? Yo. Yeah, you remember how it? You remember how to what he's saying is that they go and buy this second-hand or home home use gadgets which are very defective they come and repair them and they sell them. It means that they are very good electronics you know people if they can get the opportunity did he study electronics or is he self-taught um, Self-taught. He didn't go and learn it anywhere. Okay, so he wanted to be a teacher. Driver. Driver. He wanted to be a driver. <laughs> we wish you really good luck. Okay. Thank you. What, what percentage of Ghanaians live in this sort of circumstances? A huge percentage of Ghanaians live in such a situation. Ghana is essentially a rural uh, 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 community. It is dominated by the rural communities. So in the rural communities too, they don't have uh, water, they don't have electricity, they don't have uh, toilets, better toilet facilities and water view. So a huge majority are under such a situation. Although you are hard pressed in terms of jobs and water view, you are exposed to this electricity, water, television, that kind of urban life, we were exposed to it. So the attraction of urban life, you know, becomes somehow meaningful to you, even though you don't have enough money, you don't have a job. But the rural folks, they don't have such opportunities at all. They, they don't have access to water, they don't have access to electricity. So in one sense, you see that these facilities become sort of a pool dragging people from the rural areas to the urban areas because they also want to enjoy better life and they see better life in electricity in uh, portable drinkable water they see it in, in terms of flying on a, a tarred road in terms of having to watch tv what is going around or uh, what is going on in and outside of the country you know in terms of how to make even better choice for themselves they see that there is better development in urban areas than in the rural areas. Urban shanty towns are better than subsistence life. Yeah. So do you think that's true or am I misrepresenting you? No, that is true. They also want to enjoy the trappings of development. This is the trappings of development compared with, um, compared with rural life. Yeah. To understand Deroy's point, that even shantytown life has far more to offer than subsistence living and represents people's aspirations for a better life, we headed off to a rural village in Ghana's Volta region. Farming, is there any other jobs? Uh, apart from farming, there is no other job. Are people really subsistence farming or are they growing enough to trade? No, they are subsistence farmers. Hello, John. Nice to meet you. Yeah, Very nice to meet you. Yeah. So that's the farm that he has. So John is a subsistence farmer. John is saying that he will be very glad if he can get a tractor to work with, then he can have a, a big farmland. He's going to use the cutlass to dig the soil. To dig all of this? Right. Just with this? Yes. We need a mechanization farming. Because there, there is a land, the land is here fallow, but uh, people cannot work. Because using cutlass and hole, you can't do much. 
and this place is very sunny. So when you go to farm later time, you are tired. So you cannot do much. We are now in the house of Comfort Obribia. Hello, Comfort. It's very, very nice to meet you. Okay. And um, what do you do to live, uh, Comfort? How do you manage? I do uh, she also has a subsistence farm and she's doing the same thing and she's a sick lady who has been here for, for years. She uses hoe and cutlass to farm with and she grows corn and some vegetables and cassava. This is her kitchen and you can come in. This is Comfort's room, bedroom. She also has the same problem as the others. When it rains, the rain drips in the room. And as we can see, the mud is pulling off because of the rain. And when it's, the wind blows, it takes the roof off. Comfort is preparing banku made out that we get out from corn. And the corn is, when it gets out from the farm, it's dried and then uh, we send it to the mill and grind it. We leave it down for two days to ferment and then we blend it with water and put this on fire and stir it and there you get your banku. And what would Comfort really like? Um, to have. I said uh, she would like a very beautiful house made out of cement and blocks so that she wouldn't live in this. She said she would love a place where there is a pipe on water. And what would uh, Comfort like her kid to be able to do? Uh, she, he, she would like her son to attend school and then uh, grow up to be a mechanic. And, and she doesn't want her son to be a farmer? She is farming already. She is farming already. She is farming already. She is farming already. It's really tiring and then it retards them. So what they would really like is uh, machines like uh, they have it in England and then all the good things that they have, they will also like to have it. Yes, because we don't have water here when it rains and then fills the septic, people come in and then fetch it they go and use this as they are bathing water or they use it to wash their clothing. And this is rainwater? This is rainwater. Everybody needs good water in this house. Well, this is Cephas. Yeah. Hello, Cephas. Very nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah. 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 Fine. Because of the way the building is, we can see the touch. He has cockroaches and then some uh, mouse that disturbs them at times, bite them when they are in sleep. And is this a sort of typical house in the village? Yeah. It is, yeah. This is a typical house in the village. Medi, I own it. Country, mm. a cement. Uh, oh, and the boy of a jacuzzi. Yeah. <laughs> right. Sifas <laughs> uh, is saying that he would like to have cement blocks, yes. cement built out with sand to build with. And then he wants to have a very nice and beautiful house and have even jacuzzi in his house because when I came back from England, I was telling them about jacuzzi and bathrooms and all that. And he would like to have such a thing in his house because he has seen the pictures also yes. and it looks very nice and beautiful and that's what he would like to have here.
Now he's going to patch those the side that have holes in them so that he's no more beaten by the rain. What uh, My goodness, he wants me to do it. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh, Because what does he fix it down with? Uh, with a bed. No color called Blane. He said he uses the same touch, take like uh, maybe two or three singles, and then use it to tie it on the roof. Hello, Nuka. <laughs> He's saying that right now, uh, now that we have school here, he would like his children to attend school and become like lawyers, doctors, teachers, so that they wouldn't uh, live like how he is living, but they will have that, uh, how will I put it? They will have that good standard of living. Sure. They don't have clinic around here. So he boils this and drink it with his family after the day's work. So this is the only way of getting their medicine. Oh. And what would uh, Cephas most like to, for the village to have? So if uh, he can get, or the village here can get tractors and some other farming equipment, then they will uh, weed and then get a big farmland so that they will sell their produce and get money, and also they are living here will just be like that of England. Everybody would like that his roof should be iron sheet, but uh, it's our aim that when we have the machine to farm, we can get more money and we can buy the iron sheet. After digging it this way, then you use your so the shovel to pile it and you pour water on it before you mix it this form. <laughs> and here he's uh, molding or preparing or mixing uh, sand, that's the dust, to build a house with. When you're using this method, how long does it take to build a house? A door as soon. Now we cover our cell. I turn on. He's saying that it takes. It really takes time because he has to use about uh, five months at times a year. That's when you can, if you have the energy, to get the sand and then use use it with your building it. And can I ask uh, ask Christian what um, if he had a choice? What would he? Does he, what would he like to be able to build with? Mazasimi. Look at If you have the choice, choice. Mm -hmm. like you have the means, means you, you would like to blocks. build cement with house. cement. Yeah. I see. Yeah. Okay. And we, because we see that that one is very solid. Mm -hmm. uh, you can see this block, they lay here. Even if it takes them five months, they don't roof it. It will be the same. But this one, if you leave it like this, and it's raining before you get to know. It will go, it will go flat. So now with this, there's the palm kernel nut. We get oil out of this. And with this, she's, she'll be boiling it and then strain the oil. So that's the main kind of cooking oil? Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
just like the way she will put it because it doesn't help here much you do that and then get it with your family and that's all apart from that you don't get any other things okay. Elizabeth bath house when people talk about um, when they say they're subsistence farmers and you, you pointed that this out that this was Elizabeth's little farm they might only farm a very small bit is that right yes that's what they do so not it's not big at all very small farms so a small area like this is a farm yes Okay, what, the house and this bit of... And that's, and that's the farm, attached to the house. So the farm is really like what people in Britain would have as a small garden. garden. So that, that's literally it, that's the farm. If we concentrate on this small-scale farming, then our children also will remain in the village doing nothing. This is how you do your washing. But I could my dear man She said she would like washing machine so that she wouldn't use her hands again. <laughs> and uh, what would um Echoan like her kids to do? Does she want them to be farmers or do you want to go to the house? Say no. I don't know if you have a dollar, no poga. Ne nuke one yeah, male no manga. Yeah, she wants the kids to attend school and become learned people so that how she is washing, she, they don't do the same. Yeah. Okay. The other thing, uh, maybe you could ask Echoam. We found when we were in uh, Accra, a lot of people move from the rural areas because they find it hard. Yeah. But obviously some people stay in the rural areas. Could you ask Echoam what keeps her here? Yeah, me, the school. She says she didn't attend school, so if she is to go and live in the city, she doesn't know what to do there. Yeah. So what would she most, what would Echohan most like the village and the community to have? Good water. Buffing machines. Okay. She's saying that they get the tomatoes and they keep it, it gets rotten and they have to boil it and then uh, blend it, that's grinding it with, with stone, which really takes a long time and it wastes time too for them as well. So what they would really love is uh, to get a processor or a machine that can really process this tomato for them and some other foodstuffs to preserve their food. She said she would like a cooker so that she'll stop using the firewood because it makes the whole place dirty and then smokes come out and mm, that breathing of the smoke too is not healthy for you. When it's raining, how do you cook? Hello, eke, atrole, emelame, api adoju. Then she has to take some of this firewood into her room so that they don't get wet. So she waits when the rain stops, then she comes out and prepare her food. And, and when she's cooking like this, how long does it take to cook, cook a meal? It takes two and a half hours to prepare a dish. Oh, Let's yeah. say like banku or kru soup. That's a way to find the fire. Yeah. That's Echonen's rule. Does she have electricity in here? She has no electricity in here. Farmers work very hard. I'm telling you, the number of hours they put in, mm. you wouldn't believe. So it's not 
it's not a matter of how hard they work. It is the scientific context in which they work. That's the problem. So, yes, Ghana is an agricultural country. Yes, we ought to improve agriculture for many reasons. But that should not be seen as an alternative to advancements in industry. And therefore, the notion of even farming in the current dispensation involves an element of industrial production and scientific research and investment. Those will not come from the farm. They come from the other parts of the economy. It is better to come and live in a shanty town like this than to actually be in a rural area, in the sense that when There's you no come to this place, uh, you have at least a relatively uh, 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 good clinic. You can have electricity, even if it is not frequent. You can have electricity. You can have potable water, even if it is not as best as uh, uh, you need it. It is better than that of the rural community. Again, it is also uh, 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 better to have minimal work, okay? Even if it is portal, truck pushing, and that is, those things are non-existent in the rural communities. So it is better for you to come and live in this place and thrive on uh, those things, those social uh, 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 services that I have mentioned. No economy in the current global situation can advance simply by going to the farm. Because even on the farm, the tools you use, the methods you use, must be scientified. You must have an industrial base to farm production. You cannot simply use the old hoe and the cutlass for the next 50 years. It may be hard for us to comprehend, but even a shanty town like this one represents the trappings of development. A romantic view of rural life is one thing if you have a paid job, a car, and a supermarket to drive to as we do in the West. In the developing world, subsistence life is not a lifestyle choice, it's a life sentence.